Welcome to version 2.0, how to tell your company's story in just 15 essential slides. I'm Donna Lavoie, CEO of Lavoie Health Science, a leading independent health and science strategic communications firm serving clients around the world. The Biotechnology Innovation Organization has asked me to update our collective thoughts based on several years now of experience in working with entrepreneurs and executives in our industry. Company presentations are an integral programming element at BIO's global partnering and investor conferences that allow companies to discuss their pipeline, R&D activities, and future goals. I will walk through best practices on crafting a corporate presentation in 15 slides for health and science-based technology companies for both investor and business development audiences. Now let's move to the deck itself. Here are the 15 topics to cover in the basic deck framework for an introductory meeting. Keep in mind for one-on-one -on -one meetings, you may have leave behind decks with more detail, more like a business plan. You may also have appendix slides for due diligence meetings. So keep it simple in the first meeting. Let's begin with the title slide. It should include the company name, its logo, the name and title of the speaker, the date and the name of the conference or meeting. When you're getting ready to present, you need to ask yourself, why are you here? Whether it's for partners or strategic investors, you need to understand their expectations in order to meet your goal. For example, you might say, we already have a partner in the US and now we want a partner in Asia or vice versa. Here are a few title slides, all unique to the stories and companies listed here. I pulled this out from an older deck for Vertex Pharmaceuticals a company with whom we worked for almost 10 years. Dr. Boger, the founder and then CEO, put a stake in the ground and it resonated, building a major drug company. The point is simple and the vision is big. The other examples convey a different focus on programs rather than company building. Now for the 15 slide methodology. This is slide number one. Begin with an overview using four to five high-level bullet points with key facts about your company. Let them know what to expect to learn from the presentation and what the key takeaways will be. So with that in mind, the key takeaways today are know your audience, stick to your messages, don't overwhelm your audience, and be authentic. Ensure you set up the problem and your solution to it. And finally, end with the ask. At the end of this slide, you might say, I hope you'll learn today why this opportunity is important. Here's what we'd like to accomplish in the next 18 to 24 months. On the next slide, consider with your legal counsel if you need a disclaimer. Slide three, describe your unique problem. Discuss its seriousness, giving an example of what the patient experience is and what the challenges are. Why does this problem require funding or investment? Here's a good example from a technology device public company. They define the problem as current lack of automation in collecting blood. It's a manual process which reduces efficiency and creates compliance issues. It's very clear. Slide four is your solution to the problem. Describe your lead products and services. How will they treat the disease? How will they treat it better than existing therapies? How will your products keep competitors at bay? If you're working in therapeutics, then how can they be combined with existing therapy? If possible, find quotations from key opinion leaders, show data, or use other third parties to make your case. This slide covers using innovation and automation to transform blood collection. That's their solution to the problem. Slide five, define the market. How large is it? And what's your niche? What's the unmet medical need? Within that market, where do you fit in within the current treatment paradigms? Who are the current key players in that market? If you're working in rare diseases, you may need to focus on patient prevalence. Discuss the demographics of the disease and finally, how you will seek reimbursement in all markets. Slide six, differentiation. This is where you'll want to talk about your competitive positioning. 
It is all relative given whether you're preclinical or clinical stage. That being said, you'll need to put your best foot forward. With regard to graphs and charts, our eyes go left to right to see change in any differences. The most successful charts make one salient point. Slide seven, people invest in teams. This is about connecting your management team with the story. Storytell here. The pedigree is important, but more importantly, the company's culture. Why is it investable? Past successes and experiences make a lot of difference. Teams that have done it before add credibility and value. Your advantage may be your experience, or it may be entrepreneurship. If you're a small or emerging company, it may be important to have your board as well as your scientific advisory board listed, and if you've got an impressive list of investors, say so. Note that sometimes companies prefer to put this slide up front, especially if you're early stage. Slide eight, the pipeline and products and or services should be discussed here. Many companies show an overview chart, like the one here, with the target indication, stage of development, near-term milestone, and ownership rights. For products in preclinical development, the decision to show or not show here depends on what else you have in the pipeline and its relative importance. Slide nine, nine A, nine B, et cetera, here's where you'll show the reasons to believe. These slides are central to any talk and should outline the preclinical data, proof of concept, exploratory data, and clinical program to date. Typically, you would show the design of the key study or studies and the results in any new study or studies that are underway. Here is also where you would like to show your understanding of what it's going to take to bring the pipeline or the lead program through clinical development and regulatory approval for the US, EU, and rest of the world. Slide 10, describe any regulatory milestones and other regulatory interactions, particularly in the US and the EU. Describe any special designations your products have received from regulators and how they might impact your product's timing. Be careful not to be too specific about timing and be sure to give yourself the leeway to accomplish the milestone before there is an expectation set. That means milestones given in half-year increments, not months. Slide 11, manufacturing. Depending on the product area, such as cell and gene therapy products, manufacturing can be an important topic. Whether to devote an entire slide to this topic depends on your situation. You may consider sharing basic manufacturing information, including whether the product will be made in-house or outsourced your manufacturing history and capabilities, your experience with inspections or other regulatory interactions, and its potential impact. Slide 12, for marketed products or those nearing commercialization in the next 12 to 24 months, describe your sales and marketing intentions and that of your partners. What efforts are you making to build your own commercial organization? Who are the key opinion leaders and what do they think about the products? And what about professional society groups? Slide 13 is your company's financial situation. This will be of interest to most stakeholders, but what you include here depends on whether you are a private company or a public company. For public companies, consider providing summary financial statements with commentary. If you give financial guidance, give your current guidance as of the last quarterly reporting and describe your historical performance versus guidance. If you are a private company, you will want to include total capital raised to date and perhaps the name of investors, particularly if they are leading healthcare funds. Here is also where you might show how the current capital raise would be used. Slide 14, upcoming catalysts. Finally, give your audience a list of upcoming milestones, the clinical, regulatory, commercial, and operational events that you think will drive your company's performance and valuation over the next 12 to 24 months. Slide 15, your concluding slide, is the most important. This is where you lay out your final investment thesis or summary. The material for both comes from the preceding 14 topics. Remember to keep it simple and be authentic. What I just explained to you today is based upon the LHS 15 slide presentation, our trademark methodology for helping companies present to key stakeholders. 
You may also wish to engage experts in strategic communications to help craft your message, train your spokespeople, and set expectations appropriately. Whether you're a new company or a company that's been around for decades, your presentation is an evolving document reflecting the state of your company today. Thanks for watching and best of luck to you in telling your story.